say the Prophet ﷺ said, Surely I am a warner to you all before a painful punishment. He وسلم, and that is an echo of his voice. Any reminder with this uh, reciter, uh, Hafiz Amr, what he recited at the beginning of this gathering, any of the other verses that were recited, the hadiths that are mentioned, the dhikr that is made, the poetry that is made, any of that that conforms to one of the meanings of the revelation and the sunnah and the virtue that he directed to, take it as an echo of the voice of that messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who's a warner to all of us to protect us and summon us away from a painful punishment. Allah says on the tongues of the believers in Surah Al-Imran, رَبَّنَا إِنَّنَا سَمِعْنَا مُنَادِيَيْ يُنَادِي لِلْإِيمَانِ أَنْ آمِنُوا بِرَبِّكُمْ فَآمَنَّا O our Lord, we have heard a caller calling all of you believe in your Lord, so we have believed in that caller that we have heard and that any true, honest believer articulates, O oh, our Lord, we've heard a caller, that caller is a Nabi Muhammad. That lamp of virtue is a Nabi Muhammad, and he came as this dear virtues is themed in an environment of immense virtue that all proceeded from him in his teachings and the adherence to the vestiges of the teachings of the previous prophets that are part of his invitation. In an environment of virtue that proceeded from him and vice, which was the absence of adhering to those teachings of Nabi Muhammad, whether they were articulated on his tongue or they were articulated by the previous prophets, which are part of his message, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So he came in an environment of, of, of the vice of kufr, ta'ala, of disbelieving in Allah, denying literally the reality, the real al-haq, al-zahim, the most evident one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he came in an environment where people were denying Allah, associating partners with Allah, severing ties of kinship, the strong mistreating the weak, women in society being mistreated, Ch Fil rather than chastity, indecency and fornication were prevalent. Abuse of substances, the drinking of alcohol was prevalent. He came into this environment of vice and summoned the people to virtue. And the brothers and I were sitting and talking last night about the environment that particularly our young people find themselves in this age. And specifically to those of you that are young and those of us that are rearing the young or those of us that are trying to be rescued from that, we are in an age of vice like that age in which he came, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. An age where abuse of substances is prevalent. An age where denial of Allah, which is the worst of vices, is the, is the dominant order. An age where chastity is strange and indecency is prevalent. An age where women and the weak and the oppressed are, are mistreated. Even this earth that we're upon is mistreated. We are in an age of vice, so how much do we need this lamp of virtue? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and many of us, we incline towards those vices, with the billah ta'ala. So how much do we need this warner to save us from that painful punishment that will result if we turn from the light, we turn from Allah, we turn from His Messenger and the virtue that He brought toward those vices with the Adabillah Ta'ala.